Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're going to use GeoFS to make sure we understand flight controls, attitudes of flight, and parts of an airplane. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So step one will be to look in the description of the video and open GeoFS. The second step will be to also go to the description and click on the link to open this Jamboard. Once you open the Jamboard, you must do make a copy. Put your name in front of it instead of the word master. And then you can save it to your drive so that you can complete it. So simply add a sticky note with your name. You can just replace this one. And then you need to add a picture of an aircraft and label the parts. Well, here's how we're going to get a picture of the aircraft. Move over to GeoFS. Once again, that was the link in the description of the video as well. When you hit fly, you'll likely be on the runway. Make sure that it's mute so that you're not making noise. And then I want you to pick a fun aircraft. Now you need one that has the pieces. So I'm going to tell you for sure that if you click on the Cessna, it has the pieces. And I'll run through them for you real quick. I can actually show you these on the ground. So right now if I move my mouse left and right, those are the ailerons. Now I want you to get these pictures while they're flying. So you're going to have to get used to flying and then pressing P to pause and then taking your screenshot. And I would also love to see them on cooler planes, but I want to make sure you know them right here. So those are the ailerons. This one in the back, this is the rudder. So right there, I really move the rudder hard. And what you're also learning is that these can all be connected when you're doing them on a simulator. In a real plane, they move together, but you have to use your feet and hands to make that happen. And then the last one is the elevator back in the back. Notice as I move the mouse up and down, it changes the elevator. Now the nice thing about that is that also probably explains to you that that elevator is what changes your pitch, which is when your plane aims up or down. The ailerons are what affect roll, which is when your plane rolls about the center of the plane. The last attitude of flight I want to mention is yaw, and yaw is through the middle of the plane. It is controlled simply by the rudder back here, which makes it spin around its center as if there was a post there. I will also have a video in the description that explains those better. It'll also be in the cards if you're struggling with pitch, yaw, and roll. So real quickly, let's find a fancy plane and let's take our first screenshot. So when you hit aircraft, there are a series of planes that are built in. When you hover over them, you get to see just how cool they are. So I got this huge Southwest airplane. You can see there are other people in here. If you wanna fly these planes around a little bit, you can. I'm gonna zoom in close and let's see if we can see those pieces move. Yes, we can, so you'll be able to get your screenshots. All right, so let's get ready for a screenshot. Click down on the bottom of your screen and type SN for snipping. Right click on that and pin it to your taskbar. You can see I already have pinned mine and it's right here and it's available to me. We click this word new to take a screenshot. Right now I'm gonna put the plane in the air by pressing the number nine. That bumped up my throttle. Now the plane is moving forward and I put my mouse in the middle. And then when I hit 100 knots or so, I'm gonna pull it down so that the plane lifts up. You can see when I pull down, that is affecting the elevators and boom, we're up in the air. Now I'm pulling down too far, that's why it was threatening to stall. And now you can fly around and try and get your picture of the elevators. Now if they're not bending, that's fine. I just want you to be able to label these. Sometimes the views are even cooler. So I just hit the number three over on the number part of the keyboard, the number six, so we can see it from that side. Let's see what it looks like from two. And right there, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose number one and I'm gonna hit pause, which is the letter P. I'm gonna go to my snipping tool and friends, this is a pretty cool picture for that first part. Now this is my favorite. All we have to do is hit copy, move to the Jamboard, and we can do control V, which is paste, and you have got your sweet new plane in your Jamboard. Shrink it down a little bit so it fits. Let's move it to the back. So now the word rudder shows up on front, and then we can point at the rudder with the sweet pen I'm going to use the marker and I'm going to use yellow because I think it'll show up. And the rudder, I'm going to make my arrow look like this. You can make yours as fancy as you want, 
but that is the rudder on this airplane and friends that is the entire project i'd love to see lots of different planes as you explore i'd like you to find all of these pieces and fill them out you need to find the wing aileron flap and airfoil there may be a trick question in there you need to find the fuselage landing gear air brakes hint f-16 and then you need to define the pitch roll and yaw that I showed you in the middle. I need you to find an airplane that has the attitude of flight we're talking about and show it. So for pitch, it'll be one that's aiming up or aiming down. For roll, it'll be one that's doing a roll. And then for yaw, it'll be one where you can see that the rudder is making it turn about its center. And on this page, friends, you simply need to put the words where they belong and find the arrow that matches that force and put them in the right place as well. Once again, there is a video in the description that explains this if for some reason you don't already have that already mastered. Friends, on the last page, I just want you to add a few pictures of your favorite planes. I do want to show you all the possible planes. Back in GOFS, friends, when you hit aircraft, these are the built-in, but oh my gosh, if you click on Community Contributed, there are amazing planes that you can fiddle with. Just click on them, check them out, see what it's like to fly these amazing planes. Don't forget the numbers on the top of the keyboard are your throttle. The others are the views, so you can spin them around and take a look at them from any angle. That's the number seven, so you can see it from the front. That's the number nine. Always press five so you're in the back. When you hit play, and make sure you hit your throttle back to nine so you can take off, fly, and check out these amazing planes. Alrighty friends, so I hope you had a ton of fun with this. You got a better understanding of the controls of flight, the forces of flight, and the attitudes of flight. Friends, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.